get ready for astronomical awesomeness. The James Webb Space Telescope has finally arrived at its home sweet spot, the second Lagrange point, or L2. By spring 2022, it's time to put the finishing touches, aligning all 18 of its mirrors to perfection. Scientists have an epic plan in place for the years ahead, and we can't wait. Webb will be on a mission to uncover secrets about black holes, break through cosmic barriers formed by dust, and witness the breathtaking birth of stars. But remember, these mind-blowing discoveries will soon become just another day at work for this incredible space explorer. The James Webb Space Telescope is just getting started. But it's not just about the daily discoveries we mentioned earlier. There are even bigger questions on its agenda. In this video, join us as we dive into the most mind blowing possibilities can Webb help us track down the elusive dark matter? Will its mirrors catch a glimpse of other universes out there? And what's driving scientists to reach for the stars with this revolutionary telescope? Plus, find out how JWST will be a game changer in determining the universe's expansion rate. It's going to be an epic journey through space and time. Get ready for a cosmic mind bender. According to the Big Bang Theory, our universe is still growing old, Think of it like an endless balloon inflating at an incredible speed. As stars and galaxies zoom away from each other due to this expansion, scientists need to figure out how fast they're moving. This mysterious number is called the Hubble constant, and measuring it just right could reveal what's in store for our own galaxy, the Milky Way, plus unlock secrets about its past. But here's the jaw-dropping part scientists have been struggling to agree on this crucial value causing a major contradiction that has left experts stumped. Can you guess what makes it so tricky? The Hubble constant conundrum has astronomers scratching their heads. And it's not because they're looking at different parts of the sky. It all comes down to two major calculation methods, each yielding shockingly different answers. One approach looks back in time to when our universe was just 380,000 years young. Using the leftover radiation from that momentous era, the cosmic microwave background. This ancient glow is like a snapshot of what our universe looked like at its tender AG, and by studying it, scientists can estimate how fast galaxies are flying apart. But here's the kicker, when different teams apply their math, they get vastly different results. Imagine you have a 20-year-old's baby photo taken just five hours after birth. That's kind of like what the cosmic microwave background is a snapshot from our universe's infancy. Using this ancient radiation, one team calculated the universe's expansion rate to be 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But hold up, because there's another method at play here. This time, scientists are observing changes in super distant stars, essentially looking at their baby pictures taken when the universe was a bit older, about yesterday morning. You'd think these photos of our young universe would match. Right? I mean, they're both showing us the same scene. But it seems we've got two very different images staring back. So we've got two different expansion rate numbers, one from using the ancient cosmic microwave background radiation, coming in at 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, and another from tracking changes in super distant stars, clocking in at 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. That's a whopping 10% difference. Now, you might wonder if NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, can help us figure out which result is correct, but the answer's a bit of both yes and no. Here's why the cosmic microwave background radiation the first team detected is about 100 times longer than what JWST can even pick up, so it's not like we can simply zoom in for a closer look with this powerful tool. Imagine trying to spot a python through a microscope when you're only used to examining ants. It's just not going to happen. Similarly, JWST's impressive 6.5-meter diameter mirror can handle gazing at nearby stars with incredible precision, allowing us to catch the tiniest changes in their brightness. This means we'll finally get super precise info on how fast those far-flung objects are moving away from each other. But here's what gets really mind-blowing, we still don't fully know what's behind this cosmic expansion in the first place. It's like searching for a crucial missing piece of a massive jigsaw puzzle and that missing piece just so happens to be an invisible force known as dark energy, which is thought to make up around 68% of our universe. So, you're wondering how JWST is going to crack the mystery of dark matter. Well, here's the deal, R. Scientists have observed that some galaxies are behaving as if they've got way more mass than we can actually see. 
It's like they're moving super fast for their size, and this invisible force at play is called dark matter. The crazy thing is, there's six times more of it floating around in space compared to all the stars, planets, and dust combined. That's a massive chunk of the universe we know very little about. To help track down this hidden mass, JWST will rely on the power of gravitational lensing, where the light from distant objects gets bent by massive cosmic forces. By studying these distortions, astronomers will be able to map out dark matter's presence and finally start piecing together its secrets. Here's how JWST's observations are set to change the game when a massive object warps space with its gravity. It also bends the light passing by. This phenomenon is called gravitational lensing. Now, think of Hubble as having high-quality binoculars for spotting these distortions, but Webb, it's like getting a super-powerful telescope that lets you see way, way farther out into the cosmos. With its enhanced capabilities, JWST will be able to spot gravitational lenses from mind-blowingly distant galaxies. This is huge because it'll help scientists find new clumps of dark matter and even determine their masses. As we gather more data on these mysterious regions, we might finally uncover what dark matter is made of, a question that has sparked intense debate among astronomers, with some calling it the ultimate cosmic mystery. Here's how dark matter might be connected to another mind-blowing cosmic phenomenon these primordial black holes formed super early in our universe. We're talking just under a second after the Big Bang. They could have popped up from areas with incredibly high density in space, kind of like how you see hidden pockets when you flip your shirt inside out. Now here's where it gets wild. These ancient monsters wouldn't be the same type of black holes you usually hear about, they wouldn't have come from a supernova explosion. And that means their masses could vary dramatically. We're talking anywhere from a tiny speck of dust to an entire galaxy. Buckle up, space fans. Back in the 1970s, Stephen Hawking dared to propose a revolutionary idea. What if dark matter is actually made up of these elusive primordial black holes? Although the internet might be super sharp-eyed, spotting one of these ancient monsters alone would be like trying to find a needle in a cosmic haystack. But don't worry, we've got an awesome sidekick joining the quest. Thinkter, strange from that epic Spider-Man flick. In 2034, the Lessa Gravitational Wave Observatory is set to launch into action, hunting down subtle vibrations caused by massive objects as they move through space. With its incredible tech, this mission will be the ultimate cosmic detective story. The plot thickens. After Lysa does its thing and hands over the clues, the James Webb Telescope steps in as our superhero sidekick, zooming in for a closer look at the mysterious area. But did you know Stephen Hawking had an even wilder theory up his sleeve? If confirmed, it could make Copernicus's game-changing discovery seem like a silly dad joke. We're talking about the mind-blowing multiverse theory, and we'll soon find out if the James Webb Telescope's top-notch tech can crack the code. In 2018, all eyes were on Stephen Hawking as he dropped his groundbreaking paper with Thomas Hertog, a smooth exit from eternal inflation. Will their cosmic puzzle finally be solved? And what secrets will the JWST uncover about our universe? Let's clarify, when Stephen Hawking and his team talked about inflation, they weren't discussing gas prices. They were diving deep into cosmic inflation, an explosion of the early universe that went totally wild. Imagine a regular boom spreading out evenly, but our universe took off like a rocket, expanding at lightning speed in all directions. In just a few super fast seconds, it grew from teeny tiny to enormous, Think an atom to infinite space. And here's the mind-boggling part. No matter how advanced our telescopes become, we'll never be able to see the edge of this cosmic explosion, because there might not even be one. Now the cosmic inflation theory gets even wilder. The eternal inflation idea proposes that our universe's rapid expansion isn't just a one-time event, but an ongoing party happening everywhere at once. So, if this is true, there could be an infinite number of brand new universes popping up in different areas. Talk about a multiverse explosion. However, some big brains like Hawking and others threw shade on this idea, claiming that cosmic inflation can't keep going forever, just like how our economy can't sustain endless price hikes. They argued that there's actually a limit to how long our universe can inflate before things level out, so maybe the multiverse party isn't as endless as we thought. But wait, there's more. So it seems that if parallel universes are actually out there, they're not as diverse and numerous as we'd expect. 
Think of them as alternate realities where you might be a rock star or a brain surgeon, but your nationality would still be the same, no switching teams just yet. Now, what's truly mind-blowing is that scientists have come up with a way to put Hawking's multiverse theory to the test. They're planning an intergalactic mission to fit a super cool detector on a spaceship that can scan the cosmic microwave background, the leftover heat from the Big Bang. If they find any signs of other universes in there, it'd be like stumbling upon hidden channels on your TV, and we might finally uncover some evidence of these parallel realities. But hold up, folks, we've got a wavelength hurdle to overcome before we can tune into these supposed hidden channels of reality. Unfortunately for us, this signal is way too long for our web-based tools to pick up. It's like trying to hear a whisper from another room with earplugs on. But don't lose hope just yet. The most epic adventures might not be waiting in some far-off parallel universe. They could actually be hiding in plain sight within our own galaxy. And speaking of thrilling quests, the James Webb Telescope is about to embark on its own journey. Will it uncover evidence of life on distant exoplanets? Get this. As of 2022, we've already found over 5,000 exoplanets, with another 2,000 potentially waiting in the wings. But here's the thing, having thousands of new worlds isn't enough, we want to find life on them. So, what's the secret to tracking down these habitable hotspots? The answer lies in atmospheric biomarkers. Think of them as a cosmic calling card left behind by living organisms. These chemical signatures would be a clear indication that a planet is home to life, and scientists are eager to sniff out those signs with the James Webb Telescope leading the charge. You're about to discover the ultimate life detectors. Scientists are looking for telltale signs left behind by living things, and top contenders are water, ammonia, and methane. But here's the jackpot clue chlorophyll, the magic green pigment that gives plants their iconic color and makes photosynthesis possible. This superstar molecule sips up visible light and James Webb is perfectly equipped to spot it in infrared. So, if Webb uncovers an anomaly on an exoplanet showing a strong chlorophyll signature, get ready for the biggest cosmic revelation, proof of plants thriving and harnessing energy through photosynthesis, right there on another world. Here's a crucial piece of evidence, phosphine gas. If Webb finds an overload of this molecule, it'll likely mean bacteria thriving without oxygen are living their best lives on that exoplanet. And remember how we found some phosphine clues here at Venus. Well, we're still piecing together its story, but let's not forget, even with the most advanced Earth-based telescopes, detecting these life signs from space is a no-go due to our thick atmosphere blocking the view. The Hubble Space Telescope can't help us either, it focuses on infrared signals, while biomarkers prefer different wavelengths, making them invisible to its gaze. Now, let's talk about our new cosmic detective, the James Webb Space Telescope. It can scan an enormous chunk of the infrared spectrum, 10 times wider than its predecessor's views, basically increasing its chances of uncovering any hidden biomarkers on distant planets. While scientists are eager to find signs of advanced civilizations, their top priority is spotting some kind of life, no matter how basic or primitive. As it turns out, aliens searching for us would easily spot Earth's atmosphere teeming with carbon dioxide and monoxide, ozone, and even lead, talk about a giveaway. Given that our galaxy, the Milky Way, might harbor up to one billion Earth-like planets, the chances of finding life are higher than ever before. And the James Webb Space Telescope is poised to hand us this incredible gift. But hold up, astrophysicists aren't quite done yet. There's still so much to explore. However, I love imagining what they might do after cracking the universe's greatest mysteries. Maybe they'll kick back and enjoy a peaceful moment with some soothing tunes, as soft infrared glow from the James Webb Space Telescope gently sets the scene. As the relaxing music plays on, our astrophysicists could get lost in the cosmic romance, watching distant galaxies engaging in their own intergalactic love affairs. Who knows what secrets they might uncover? You're right, even a relaxing space-watching session turns out to hold relevance for our understanding of the cosmos. By observing and interpreting these galactic relationships, 